Hi, I'm John Matheson. I'm the EDM Applications Engineer here at Methods Machine Tool in Chicago, and I'm going to be talking to you about... Today we're going to talk about how to have the machine tool power off for you anytime that you want. Okay, it's something that you can set up even after the machine tool has been running. It's something that you can turn on and turn off at any time. Okay, to set this up, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and go to our menu screen. We're going to come over here to our handy settings. And down at the bottom we have something here called power control. It brings up the screen that you're seeing right here. We have a couple of different options that we can do as far as powering the machine to a lock. See here we have M0 or M0 on one, M2, M30 in the program, reverse alarm, we get a wire break, we have any alarm, if you have a wire Empty, so basically you ran out of wire, it'll power it down, or it misses a thread. One of the things I like about this is that we have the capability down here at the bottom to actually set um, a timer. You can see here it gives it to you in seconds. And basically you have between zero and thirty thousand seconds that you can set up and have the machine tool, I should say, cycle the water before it shuts off. The idea here is instead of doing a quick shut off, boom cutting the call apart or whatever, you may want to leave the pumps running a little bit to cycle out some of the dirt that's actually been created in your tank. Okay, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up that I want this thing to shut off if I hit end of program, so M2, M30, or if I hit an M00 or stop in my program. Just like setting up a lot of other options in here, we have to make sure that we actually activate the key, okay, or the button right here at the top that says, tells that it's activated. Fortunately or unfortunately, this does not give you anything along the bottom of the screen telling you that it's turned on. It's a manual type scenario. Again, you can do it right in the middle of the program if you guys wish, but we got to make sure it's actually activated here. At this point, then what we'll do is we'll come back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and start running our job. Um, I have it set up in dry run mode just so you guys can see the machine movements. When we're setting up and cutting this, normally we're going to have the water filled in the tank. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that so that you can see what it looks like. At this point, I filled the tank just so that you can see that it's going to actually shut off and drain. I have it draining right away, okay, instead of waiting that couple of seconds that, or minutes that I talked to you about. Um, in this case, change in memory mode. I got it in dry run. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit cycle start. And the machine tool is going to start moving around the part as you see by the cursor here. Okay, when it comes around and actually hits the stop, okay, you can see right here along the top it's talking to you about executing a power uh, supply off. Um, at this point, it's going to go ahead and drain the tank down. It's going to wait for it to drain, drain the tank. Once it's fully powered back up, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and turn the auto power off off so that we can go ahead and start the machine tool back up. So again, if we come back to my handy settings over here, I'm going to come down to where it says power control. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and deactivate it right now. I'll be able to restart my program. When I come back over to graphics, I'm going to go ahead and hit auto. I want to go ahead and auto draw my part. At this point, you can see we have it. I'm going to come back over here to out the monitor. Okay, pretty much the machine tool has memorized where we were when the machine powered off. All I need to do at this particular point is I need to come back here and I'm going to hit the button called Restart. Restart will do a couple of things for me. One, it'll fill the tank if I need it done. It'll also put the machine tool in memory mode so I can go ahead and start cutting. Um, for some of you guys that can see it, the cursor is actually in the wrong location right now. Once I go ahead and, and hit Restart, you'll see my cursor jump back over here to that first red box. That's our actual stop that caused the machine tool power off in the first place. At this point, all I need to do is go ahead and hit cycle start, and the machine tool will now continue on to my next stop, where I can pull my slug, or whatever the case may be. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me here at the Chicago Methods office. The phone number is 847-783-6800. Again, I'm John Matheson, and have a great day.